Hello, this is Tim once again. I recently saw the film Pain and Gain, directed by Michael Bay. Uh, I really enjoyed this film. I'll just go ahead and give my rating. I'll give it three and a half stars out of a possible four. The film stars Mark Wahlberg, Dwayne Johnson, uh, and Tony Shalhoub. But yeah, this is a good film. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. It's supposedly based on a true story, but I know movies that are based on true stories embellish them a lot, so I'm not going to go into that. Um, but to jump right into this film here, the basic story of it is Mark Wahlberg is a bodybuilder, and the bodybuilders in this film, the three of them who do the kidnapping in this film, this film, yes, is a kidnapping story. They're assholes. They're really vain. Mark Wahlberg's character idolizes fucking Scarface and uh, <laughs> the guys from The Godfather, so you can kind of see what kind of person he is. He, uh, well, he basically is the thing, well, views that, uh, views people who are in really good shape as, like, the, the superior people and that they automatically deserve better in the world. <laughs> so he thinks that he deserves all this money that Tony Shalhoub has. Tony Shalhoub is a client of his who tells him about all the money he's got basically every time he comes there and how he owns a restaurant and shit. So uh, Mark Wahlberg comes up with a plan to... To fucking just kidnap him. He, he gets his friend who doesn't want to do it at first. But this is kind of silly. His friend like has erectile dysfunction or something like that. And there's a nurse there that like, gives him a shot in the dick. Who he eventually marries. And I think in the movie it's the, the, you, you get the idea that he didn't want to do this at first. Until he got erectile dysfunction. And now he can't, he can't afford the shots. He has to do it because he wants his dick. He wants to get shots in his dick. So he can fix it. Because he's been taking steroids. is the reason it's messed up. So I'm like, I guess, man, guys love their dicks. They'll do about anything to get them healed. But anyway, so then they recruit The Rock. He's like, The Rock's the funniest member of the crew. He's like super religious guy who just got out of prison. He's staying at this uh, church with this uh, priest who like is, I think, gay or something. He tries to hit on him. The Rock like fucking knocks him out, which is pretty funny. But uh, anyway, to jump in the film here, so they try to kidnap Tony Shalhoub a couple times, at least three times. Well, two times before they get it right. It's really funny. Uh, they fucking dress up as G.I. Joe's, go to his house and try to kidnap him, but he's got people there with him, so they're like, abort, abort. It's pretty entertaining. And then you get another, uh, another scene where they try to do it, and The Rock's dressed up like a ninja, and, uh, Mark Wahlberg's friend is dressed up like a fucking, uh, alien, and they jump out of the back of the van, trying, the back of this van, trying to kidnap him at the grocery store, but he's already walked all the way around the van to his vehicle, so, <laughs> he gets away again. Due to their stupidity. The, the bodybuilders in this film are trying to do the kidnapping or whatever. The movie doesn't pretend like they know what they're doing or anything. I mean, their characters are incredibly stupid. And the movie doesn't pretend otherwise. But uh, anyway, they finally kidnap him when Tony Ch Shalhoub's character is a dick in this film. But he gets his comeuppance when he's tortured and stuff. And then you start to feel sorry for him. But uh, he's being an asshole to these people in the restaurant because he owns the restaurant and they work there, so he can't be an asshole to them. So he walks outside, and Mark Wahlberg's friend fucking tases him in the side of the head. You get a funny scene here where they got him in the van, and uh, he, they're getting him to call everybody that he knows and tell them all he's doing different stuff. That way he they won't think he's been kidnapped and fucking... Uh, Mark Wahlberg's friend tases him and knocks him out, and he's like, what? Mark Wahlberg's like, why the fuck did you taser him? He was talking. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought that was funny. They got him hostage. They take different, well, he recognizes Mark Wahlberg as the person who kidnapped him because he smells his shitty cologne, which he smelt when he was a, a client of his, when Mark Wahlberg was helping him work out. But they take turns fucking, uh, uh, watching him, and The Rock starts bonding with him because they're both, like, been sober for a long time. You get a funny scene where The Rock puts his hand on his head and is like, are you Jewish? He's like, do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? <laughs> I thought it was funny. Um, but, uh, yeah, The Rock's the most sympathetic of the three because he, he get funny scenes where he's, like, talking to Mark Wahlberg. I don't want to hurt anybody. <laughs> and when he was telling Mark Wahlberg about when he was in prison, you get a funny scene where he's like, I just got to stop evil when I see it. He fucking, these guys are beating up on this dude in the prison yard, and he walks up to him and, like, beats them up and stops the fight. But anyway, um, yeah, they take different shifts watching him, and uh, Rock kind of warms up to him. Uh, but the Tony Shalhoub's, like, Lying to him the entire time, I believe, just so he'd get him to like him more, so he might might let him go. But anyway, so eventually, uh, they torture Tony Shalhoub multiple times in the film. Uh, they like put a, his fucking hand in his press and burn his hand, trying to get him to sign this document, that, like give him rights, all his stuff, and all his money. Uh, and they fucking hang him upside down like a piece of laundry. It's pretty entertaining. And they finally get him to sign what they want him to sign. Uh, Mark Wahlberg takes it to his friend. He approves it. I believe it's his friend. He gets to approve it or whatever, I think. Um, or help him approve it. I'm not for sure. So he approves it, and they get all Tony Shalhoub stuff and everything. So basically after that, they got to kill him. 
And you, there's a character in this film, like a stripper or something. She's pretty useless to the plot. She doesn't really need to be there. She's got like the IQ of a raisin. Mark Wahlberg gets her to sleep with him by telling her that he's like a fucking music video director or something. And later on, he tells him that the, he tells her that he's like in the CIA or some shit. And she fucking goes from him to The Rock, basically, and starts dating The Rock. But, um, yeah, they gotta kill Tony Shalhoub, and they got him in the vehicle, and they pour alcohol down his throat and shit to make it look like he crashed and died. And he crashes, but he's still alive. They overdo this a little bit. Uh, he crashes, he's still alive, then Mark Wahlberg blows up the car, Tony Shalhoub gets out, he's still alive. <laughs> then they fucking, uh, they gotta, like, run him over <laughs> after that. So the Rock, they try, they try to get the Rock to run him over, he doesn't want to, they finally talk him into it. The Rock, like, backs up the tire on his face, like, cuts off part of his nose or whatever, and grinds off, like, part of Tony Shalhoub's nose, like, a piece of it. Uh, but uh, Tony Shalhoub survives that, of course, he's in the hospital. They find out about it, they dress up like buff doctors and try to fucking get in there and... Uh, get in there and kill Tony Shalhoub. Tony Shalhoub tells the police what happened, but they don't believe him. I guess because the story's so outlandish or something. But Tony Shalhoub hires Ed Harris, of all people, who's a retired detective. But, uh, this tell well, he doesn't hire, Ed Harris doesn't take the case yet, but he decides to. And Ed Harris tells him if he had people after him like that, he wouldn't wait in the hospital. So they finally get in there to kill Tony Shalhoub, but Tony Shalhoub is already gone. <laughs> so, fucking, um, Tony Shalhoub is like hiding out this motel, and he calls up Mark Wahlberg's friend, tells him he wants all his fucking money back and everything. Mark Wahlberg, like, star 69s him and tries to find out where he is. They head to the hotel to try to find out where he is. Ed Harris eventually took the case and is, like, fucking pretending to be a client at Mark Wahlberg's, uh, Mark Wahlberg's, uh, fucking gym. And he's, like, gathering information about all of them. Uh, Mark Wahlberg's friend has gotten married and blowed all the money he had on the house. Uh, the Rock's character has become a, co a cocaine addict. He used to be a cocaine addict and reformed. Uh, when he, while he was in prison by becoming religious or whatever, now he's a cocaine addict again. But, um, yeah, so, uh, they fucking go there where, uh, uh, Tony Shalhoub is, but he's already gone out of the hotel. And you get a funny scene, Rock's talking to the hotel manager and says, I remember this hotel because it's a place where I, like, bash somebody's head in once and I'm about to do it again if you don't give me the information we want. And so the guy has to tell him, like, who's been coming there to meet Tony Shalhoub, and it's Ed Harris, and he tells him, and they fucking, uh, Tony, Mark Wahlberg is like, uh, <laughs> After all I've done for this guy, <laughs> helping him work out and everything. And in the movie, you get like a, a scene in it where The Rock is uh, like he's blowed all his money on cocaine and stuff. And he fucking steals some money from some cops and jumps in the river and tries to swim away. And they fucking shoot off his big toe. And he comes to Mark Wahlberg, who's like having this uh, party, like introducing himself to the neighborhood because he's like living in Tony Shalhoub's house now. <laughs> I even got his dog, I believe. And he's like well, introducing himself to the neighborhood, and you get funny shit where Mark Wahlberg is like playing basketball with neighborhood kids, and he knocks one of them down. He's like, "Is all you got, bitch?" <laughs> Pretty entertaining. Mark Wahlberg's like trying to uh, bond with the neighborhood and everything, and the Rock's like there, and uh, the Rock and Mark Wahlberg's friend tell him that they want to kidnap this porn king guy and do the whole do it on the entire thing over again, basically with this new guy, the porn king, because they're all out of money. Well, everybody except Mark Wahlberg, he's the smartest one in the group, but he's still stupid. So they decide to get up this porn king guy and do the whole thing over again. They pretend like they're going to like fucking help him just porn get worldwide or something like that. And uh, uh, they try to get him to sign this document, but he calls Mark Wahlberg like small time or an amateur or whatever. And he's like, he doesn't want to do business with him. He wants to meet like their superior or something. So Mark Wahlberg is pissed off about that and kills him on accident by fucking hitting the floor and causes this weight to fall on his face. Um, so they got to dismember the, the uh, then the, well, uh, the porn king guy's woman comes in there, and she's got, like, boob implants or something, which will come into play later. The porn king's woman is in there. She tries to shoot Mark Wahlberg, fucking uh, The Rock, and Mark Wahlberg's fan stop her. They take her out with a horse tranquilizer. And they gotta get, they decide to get the combination to the porn king's safe from her. Uh, they get it from her, and they try to open the safe. It's the wrong combination, but they can't get the right one because she's dead from the horse from overdose of horse tranquilizer. Fucking, uh... They're missing. Ed Harris like has got enough evidence against them by now, and the police want to move in on them. So there's like an APB out on them or whatever, I believe, and they want to catch them. Uh, they take their bodies and shit and put them under like a. Uh, well, they take the porn king's body and the fucking uh, his woman's body and put them uh, on some uh, uh, plastic, and they want to chop them up. And Mark Wahlberg like a. Uh, well, not Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg's friend's got a chainsaw. It's like made in China and gets caught in her hair. And Mark Wahlberg's like, no wonder this shit don't work. It's made in fucking China. <laughs> I thought that was funny. But, uh, they take the chains. Uh, well, they. Mark Wahlberg chops off their fucking hands so they won't be identified and tells The Rock to get rid of the fingerprints. And he's like grilling the hands outside. It's so funny. He's fucking grilling the hands. And like one of the people standing outside sees him. Mark Wahlberg walks up to him. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Something like that. And, uh, 
So he he grilled in the hands, and Mark Wahlberg takes the chainsaws and shit back to the fucking store that he got them from, hardware store. Um, they take the uh, the rock splits. He leaves them a note and says like he can't take the shit or something like that. And he has to go. He has to go uh, to church and pray or something about it. And he just leaves and leaves them. So it's basically just Mark Wahlberg and his friend after that. So they take the bodies, put them in barrels, and dump them over in the swamp. Um, and the police are like searching for him after that, basically. Um, Ed Harris is searching for him with the, with the police. The SWAT team gets uh, the Rock's character, uh, who's like in church praying. They get Mark Wahlberg's friend, who uh, Tony Shalhoub called. Tony me wanted his money back or whatever because he knew about it and was been going along with this whole time. I guess Mark Wahlberg's been like giving him part of the money or something, or he's getting some of the money out of it. Uh, so they arrest him too, and uh, then they get Mark Wahlberg's friend. Uh, who uh, is fucking just in his house with his wife, who is like the nurse that uh, gave him a shot in his dick when he had erectile dysfunction. So they arrest him, and then uh, they come after Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg manages to get away. He gets on this boat and fucking hightails it out of there. And Tony Shalhoub tells him to police basically that he's got one more account, and they uh, they head there to his well, where Mark Wahlberg is obviously going to be. But his last account, had, instead of having money in the box, is just like family photos and memorabilia and shit. Mark Wahlberg tries to get away, uh, Ed Harris sees him running off, the police get there, Ed Harris sees him running off, shoots him in the leg. Uh, he's about to get away again, but, uh, Tony Shalhoub sees him, and Tony Shalhoub's in the car, and he's like, there's this outside market, and Tony Shalhoub fucking just plows through every bit, <laughs> and, uh, runs over Mark Wahlberg, knocks him against the wall, basically, and takes him out. Tony Shalhoub is, is the one that catches him and stops him. So it's like, revenge! <laughs> but anyway, so they got them all. Uh, well, they got all three of the main ones, plus uh, Mark Wahlberg's friend. I don't know what happens to him. He gets sentenced to, but I don't remember what the sentence was. It tells you at the end of the film. But they got them all. The Rock rats them all. Rats them all. Rats uh, his, both of them out and fucking just says, I want to go back to prison. He gets the lightest sentence. He gets 15 years, and at the end of the film, it tells you basically that he's out. So he, he got off the easiest. Um, he's in, shows him in prison with, like, the church choir and stuff, and he's, like, really happy to be back in prison. He's found Jesus skin and everything, and has gone out of his cocaine habit again, I guess. <laughs> this is pretty funny. So Mark Wahlberg and his friend, they both go to jail, and they, they get the death penalty. I mean, they fucking, they get, ex they get executed, and it tells you at the end that they got executed. So, yeah, they both died, which is pretty hardcore. It was, uh, Tony Shalhoub's, uh, fucking testimony that put him away, basically. Uh... He, yeah, they got the bodies of the people they dumped in the swamp, the corn king and his woman. They couldn't identify them because the hands were gone. But uh, they identified them because uh, the uh, corn king's woman had fake breasts, like implants, and they, identified, they traced them back to her from, from those, which I thought was pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, Tony Shalhoub's testimony is what puts them away, and then basically they died. And then you get a little cheesy narration here by Ed Harris where he's like, some people just don't know what they, him and his wife are talking, they're like, some people just don't know what they have right in front of them. I'm like, what? You don't really need that. But anyway, this is a good film. It's overly long. You can condense and take out some of it, like the scenes with Mark Wahlberg, like trying to blend in with the community and shit. You don't really need all that. Uh, or at least not as much as we had, like with him having like a neighborhood watch committee and all that kind of stuff. You don't need all that. But this is a good film. I'd say The Rock, honestly, is the most enjoyable of three, and the Mark Wahlberg's friend is the least enjoyable. But he's all right. Mark Wahlberg himself, uh, acting wise, just plays like the angry guy, like he always does. But it's like the angry, goofy guy, so he's he's funny. Um, the Rock, his character is a lot of fun because he's like <laughs> the religious cocaine addict, so he's funnier. He's funnier and shit to watch. Michael Bay directed this film. I like Michael Bay's films, honestly, I do. I like his action films. I just don't like his Transformers movies. But those films are, are those characters are incredibly hard to make a film out of because they're giant robots and that's just difficult material. But uh, for this shit, he succeeds, and this film is supposedly based on a true story. I'd be very interested to know how much of it is true. But just judging it as a film, this is an entertaining movie, and it's easily a three and a half star film, and I do really enjoy it. Um, acting in is fine. Ed Harris, he's fine for his smaller part. Uh, Tony Shalhoub, he's fine at playing an asshole, and eventually you warm up to him. Uh, he's fine with his character, and Mark Wahlberg, like I've said, is fine at playing the goofy asshole guy. And Mark Wahlberg's friend, he's just okay at playing like Mark Wahlberg's sidekick, basically. And The Rock, he's he's fucking hilarious. <laughs> he was fun to watch every second. Some people say he's a bad actor, but at least well, at least he plays like he tries to play different types of characters and do different styles of acting for different roles. He just doesn't stick to like the big muscle guy. Even though his character's a bodybuilder, there's more like layers to him than that. And he's he's probably the most complex actually out of the three. But 
anyway, this is a good movie, and I, I will buy it when I get a chance. And I really enjoy it. And I'll see you guys again with another review, and I hope you have a good day.